Yo, what is up guys? Spidey Life here. Now, obviously it's been a couple of, I want to say a full day as of right now that I'm recording this. It's been about 20 to 24 hours since the uh, news about Spider-Man leaving the MCU happened. And, you know, it's been pretty devastating for everyone. A lot of people are disappointed. A lot of people are happy. Um, I honestly, I'm just curious to see what's going to happen next. It looks very messy. It looks very confusing. However, one of the things I've, that have been bugging me is how everyone is kind of boycotting Sony. And I understand for fair reason. Um, you guys believe that Sony was the one that said no. And then they were the, one that who, who, they were the people who pulled the plug on Spider-Man in the MCU. However, Sony finally addressed this over on Twitter. A lot of people are calling bullshit. But a lot of people and a lot of sources have been saying that Disney is actually the one who asked for more money on Spider-Man. And basically, Sony said no. And it makes sense though. Let's be a little more realistic right now. Yesterday was all just emotion. Right now, let's kind of sit down and really think about the whole situation. So basically, Disney bought off Sony's merchandising back in 2012, I believe. Could be wrong, but when The Amazing Spider-Man and The Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out, Marvel slash Disney had officially, um, well, officially owned the Spider-Man merchandising, which means they already were getting a huge portion of money for a movie that wasn't even theirs for the merchandising of course so then flash forward 2015 the sony marvel deal is made and then flash forward to 2019 the deal is over because disney pressured sony well not pressured but they were asking uh, sony for more money on the uh, spider-man box office revenue as i was saying in the uh, video yesterday when i announced that sony spider-man was leaving so disney being the one asking sony for more money is kind of a little selfish i guess um sony did in fact give other options they were like you know what if you guys don't want more money or if you got we don't want to do it that way we can do it the, the way we did it for homecoming or the way we did it for far from home however we're not going to give that much money away i mean that's a huge chunk of money that uh, disney is asking for so sony i kind of understand on sony's end because it's like you know this is a more pro more profitable franchise um, it makes sense, you know, they're sharing the character. They shouldn't be getting that much if uh, Sony's still the one that technically owns Spider-Man. But uh, when you really think about it in the end, it, it's really both of their faults. They're both trying to be greedy. It's both Sony and Disney want the more, more money out of both of these characters. And it's really just <laughs> really confusing times um, to be a Spider-Man fan at the moment. We don't know if we're going to get a reboot after the fourth Spider-Man movie. We don't know what's going to happen. It's really confusing. Because they can't go on making Spider-Man 3 without um, bringing up stuff from the MCU. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Whose fault do you guys think it is? Is it Sony's? Is it Disney's? Let me know in the comment section down below. And remember, guys, keep on swinging. Hey, guys, quick note. Don't forget to support the channel by buying the merch. Unfortunately, um, all of my videos are now getting demonetized, apparently because of copyright, even though in some videos I don't use any copyright material. So unfortunately, the only way to support my channel is by subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and buying the merch. Don't forget, link is always in the description in every single video. Don't forget to support the channel. And yeah, guys, keep on swinging.